You requested a sit down. He heard you out. another week off the podcast um lots going on um officially a new york city resident which was which is cool um i'm a new yorker now (laughs) nah i mean still we're getting there it's been a fun transition though so that's why it's been a little light on the podcast a lot of business going on a lot of um just uh moving stuff i mean you guys know i've been back and forth for like a year now but it's official I'm a, I'm a New Yorker, so that's awesome. Super cool to do that. But um, this episode of the podcast, we're going to talk about Boston. We're going to talk about Boston instead. There's a lot of stuff going on in Boston. You guys know I love Boston. I love the North End. So many great friends I, I've made there. Um, shout out to the Boston Guido, who's been like an incredible friend to me. Um, basically family at this point. It's so funny you meet these people on online on Instagram and they just become a, a, a part of your life. So it's awesome. So shout out to the Boston Guido and we're going to have Christian Sylvester on the podcast. We've had him on before. Um, he owns Rabia Stolte Fumo in the North end. We visited the North end. They invented the shot out of the wooden spoon. They got the pistachio limoncello and they've been doing shots out of the wooden spoon <laughs> for a year now. And it's awesome. So um, we're going to, there's uh, actually, it's a more serious episode of the podcast. We're not going to be um, having a silly time today, but um, so there's a tax going on in Boston in just the North end where they want to charge them $7,500 just to have outdoor dining, which is insane. I don't want to get too in deep right now. We just recorded with a uh, um, Christian. So we're going to get to that in a minute, but um, other than that festival seasons right around the corner. We're going to be eyeing a lot of um, festivals in New York. We're going to try to hit all of the boroughs. Um, We're going to try to hit Long Island, and we're going to try to focus on Jersey. We're going to stay New York, New Jersey this year. So, um, yeah, just uh, stay on the lookout on um, on Instagram for all those announcements. Um, Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube, guys. We're trying to put a lot of YouTube content out. I got some great um, YouTube videos coming up in the next couple months, which should, should be a blast and I don't think I have any on me right now but make sure you order your wooden spoons um get your merch this is the baseball tee it's like one of my favorite shirts that we have so the sleeves are green inside and the big wooden spoon so uh yeah you know what let's get right into the episode with Christian um yeah here we go welcome Christian Sylvester on the pod Awesome, guys. I'm pumped to welcome on my guest. You guys have seen him before. It's Christian Silvestri in the North End right now, um, owner of uh, Rabia Stolce Fumo. You've seen him in how many um, shot out of the wooden spoon videos on the page. You guys invented the shot out of the wooden spoon. Yeah, we did. And it got so popular. Everybody that comes in is like, can we do a shot out of the wooden spoon? (laughs) <laughs> and it just it caught on it's crazy I know, that's so awesome i love every time like i see like oh uh rabius mentioned me in their um post i was like Let, let's go there's another shot on the wooden spoon <laughs> it's crazy and it doesn't matter what age group i got people that are 21 and i got people that are 81 doing it it's fucking crazy i love it i love it yeah i mean that's what like we prompted we did we have the shot spoon now that we do it out of so Next time yeah. I come up to Boston, I'll bring the shot spoon and we'll um we'll have a real good All right. time. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Yeah, I think the I mean the first time we talked, the first time you were on the podcast, I've never I don't think I was even in Boston yet. I don't think I've ever visited no, yet. It was before you yeah. came to Boston. Yeah, so like I came down and I was like, oh shit, this is this is Boston, this is the North End, and like I've I've said it publicly, it's like the best Italian neighborhood in the country. Yeah. It- yeah, I mean, I've been to a lot of the Italian neighborhoods all around. I mean, like Little Italy in New York, it looks like it's getting eaten up a little bit by Chinatown. You know, um, the the North End has its own. I mean, it doesn't matter where you walk. You can smell that garlic, smell that bread being made. Smell, it's just the smells in the air, you know. the You got the older people hanging out the windows. You got the same people walking up the street saying hello. It's It's like, it's just, it's a great community. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Boston Guido because he was he like gave me the tour of the North End when I did come. My down. man Jay, 
Yeah, yeah he's he's the best. He, I'll get mad if I don't mention him, but he's he's the best. He's like, I mean, obviously like a great mutual friend of both of us. But um, he gave me the Absolutely. tour the tour of the North End, which was awesome. It's like every time I forget where we we ate at Bella Vista, then we came to Rabias. But um, it was like everybody that passed by, like everybody knew everybody. Everybody was like they would just come in, sit down, talk for a minute, then go, and it was just. It's super yep. old, old school. And if, if, if no, if you're listening and you haven't been in the North end, I, I highly recommend taking a trip out, especially during the summertime. So you could go out, experience all the restaurants, the people it's, it's a lot of fun for sure. But on a more dim note, um, there's some problems going on in the North end. I'm sure a lot of people have heard. Um, if you want to just kind of break it down for us about like what's going on with the mayor and then this new tax they're um, imposing just on the North End. Sure. So basically, um, for outdoor dining, uh, everybody wanted, uh, you know, the last couple of years we've been doing it. They started with COVID. And um, all of a sudden this year, the mayor came out and said, uh, if you want outdoor dining, you, the North End, and only the North End, needs to pay $7,500 uh, for your seating. Not only that, but however many parking spaces you have in front of your restaurant, you need to pay $458 per car, or per space, I should say, per month on top of that. So let's just say you have three spaces in front of your restaurant. That's almost another fifteen hundred a month, on top of the seventy five hundred. Then they want to be named as additional insured on your insurance. They want you to raise your insurance. They want special barricades. So basically, for any of us that are coming out, you get your twelve to fifteen thousand before you serve one plate of spaghetti. Oh my god! You're upside down. Yeah, and this is and just now, the north end. Just the north end. Look, if she if she put this tax put this fee on everybody in Boston, okay, we have no problem. But right now, it's like she's extorting us. I mean, you have the Back Bay, you have Seaport, which has all big chain restaurants that have got all the money in the world. You got East Boston, you got South Boston, you got Chinatown, you, you, you got all these other areas, Beacon Hill. Everybody can do whatever they want for zero. Mm -hmm. now you when you when you like specify you the north end has to pay our, our, our question was why why are you making us pay and nobody else her reasoning is well you there's rats in the city your street we need to clean streets we need to clean the sidewalks no 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 no. we pay tax dollars for the city of boston to clean this shit up already mm -hmm. Now you're double taxing us, so you're double dipping, which is illegal, number one. Number two, are you telling me that my rats are bigger than the rats in Chinatown, bigger than the rats in all the other areas? Is that, is that how you, what are you, are you weighing these fucking rats? That, that ain't happening. You're saying that I got more trash on my street than you got on your street? That ain't happening. So there's, there's no justification on where this amount came from, who, 7,500. Where did that number come from? It's not 10, it's not five, it's 75. Why? How? You know, and the, the amount of the parking spaces. You can get garaged in a garage parking for like $350 a month in Boston. You're charging me $458 for outside parking for somebody else's car. Like it's nothing makes sense. And then yeah. the other thing is, you know, if a guy's got 150 seats in his restaurant. And say I got 30 seats in my restaurant. You're telling me to pay the same as him? It's like there's no rhyme, no reason, no comments. There's nothing adds up. Yeah, there's. it doesn't seem like there's any consistency. Now, I did go back and I kind of like just – I wanted to see like what she was saying. I think I went back. I saw a video. She was like, oh, we need to like – like it almost sounded like she wanted to remove outdoor dining just so they could like help traffic and clean the streets. But it's like if you want to do that, then like – basically you're <laughs> like then there should be no outdoor dining just cancel it all together but she's just it seems like wants to just start taking money especially from the north end right now what she just did too which would just came out i think the beginning of this week um is so newberry street and boylston street are two very big like high-end shopping areas in boston 
I don't know if you got to go there when you were down here. So Newberry Street, she just mentioned, will be pedestrian only. So now that's a very, very, very busy street for shopping, right? Mm -hmm. So now she just said, Newberry Street, you are all set. You can have pedestrian uh, friendly um, streets from May until October. So that's just another slap in our face. That's not nothing. So after she already hit the North End saying, we're hitting you for 7,500 for outdoor dining, but you, Newberry Street, which is a mile away, you can have whatever you want and it's for zero. <laughs> like, how, how are you, where are you, how are you even doing this? How is it so, possible? What, yeah, what does that mean, pedestrian only? It means that no cars will be allowed, only people can walk on the streets, you can have outdoor dining, um, and it's just, it makes it free for people to walk on the streets and shop versus all the traffic of all the cars that went up and down the streets. Okay, yeah. So that seems like definitely something that should be in the North End. I mean, yeah, because it, it, it's like that's like like it's the North End definitely seems like a tourist attraction just itself because of all it the is. rest. Yeah, it's the biggest tourist attraction in Boston. You got Paul Revere. You got the walk. You got you, you, there's it's like the most historical, most visited area in Boston, and that's who they hit. Yeah, and then especially when during the the feast of Saint Anthony, it's like that's a tour. Then that makes it a tourist only, and it seems like people handled it just fine. I mean, there was how many hundreds of thousands of people that came through there, and I didn't hear anybody complain about parking or anything. Like we parked, we had our we had two cars, we just parked them in the garage, we just walked, we, and we had bins of shit that we carried, and we just kind of right. we what we figured it out, you know? Yeah, right. We wanted to be there. Yeah. It, it it just doesn't make sense. I mean, we uh, I just had some shirts made. They uh, they delivered them yesterday, North End Strong, and uh, I'm going to be handing them out to everybody on the streets this weekend. And, uh, like tourists, anybody who wants to support us in the North End, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just be on the street handing the shirts out just to you know get some some support and people will know we're not backing down. We're gonna fight through court. We're gonna fight for our own area and. And that's it. We're not backing down. We're not going to listen to this mayor try to move us around. I mean, I don't know if you remember back when in COVID, there was, there was those riots and they were breaking through windows like yep. police cars on fire. They were uh, terrorizing every neighborhood in Boston. And us in the North End were welcoming them to come to our neighborhood. But they must have got word, you don't play in the North End. Oh, and yeah, now you, the mayor, you want to come play? We'll play. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's just the culture in the North End. It's different than any place I've ever I have ever seen. Everyone is very strong. It's very strong community based. But another thing you'd mentioned was COVID, and like here's like another scenario. It's like okay, say these people like just say there's a, there's a restaurant that's struggling. They can't afford to pay the seventy five hundred dollars. They close their outdoor dining. We could get hit with another COVID restriction in a month or two, and then they're then they like took down everything they built, and then they're they're shit out of luck. Well, absolutely. Now, now that we're on the COVID topic, so the restaurant association, right, had come up with numbers, and they were accurate because the numbers were pretty close to what we were losing every week. But they were saying that restaurants, because of the mandates with the masks, the vaccination cards, and everything else in order to go dine in our North End restaurants. This, now, this wasn't suburbs. This was just Boston, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we were losing between fifteen and 20000 a month. I'm sorry, a week. fifteen to 20000 a week in sales because of the mandates. Mm -hmm. Now, things, okay, no more masks, no more vaccination cards. Things are starting to come, you know, come back to normal. And that's, boom, again, 7500 Another fifteen hundred a month, and let me add one other thing into this. Every place else in Boston were allowed to open their outdoor dining April one, mm -hmm. and they go to December. Okay. The North End, if you pay the seventy five hundred per the May is bullshit, you only have till May one until September one, but if you're good. If you're good, if you're a good little boy and girl and you have no violations, you can stay open until the end of September. So 
our months get cut down to shit. And we're the ones who, who are paying all that money. So don't you think it should be the other way around? Give us more months to try to recoup the money if you're trying to whack us like that? No. Yeah, that's insane. Well, I mean, even just the September alone, I mean, it's still like 80 degrees outside and there's still like it's beautiful weather. Then you've got like kids. Our coming back. still nice. Yeah, that too. I was just going to say. Yeah, that's insane. So what are you guys doing? Like how many how many restaurants are there in the North End? I mean, it depends on where you're looking, but I mean, if you got, if you, you have like North Street, Hanover Street, Salem Street, Hanover is like the one in the middle. It's the main street. Mm-hmm. That, that's where the majority of the restaurants are. Um, Salem Street is like the second biggest street. And then you have North Street to the other side. But then you have all like the side streets, Parmenta, mm-hmm. Prince, uh, you know, all these other like streets. So you have between the it depends on how you look between 60 and 80 restaurants i mean that's still like i because it's like it's not like this huge giant like place i mean it's it's no pretty, it's, it's tight knit so like 60 to 80 restaurants is a lot wait let me just do the math on that real quick <laughs> so they're trying to hit one sec so 80 restaurants times 7500 dollars. So she's trying to bring in like almost over half a million dollars in revenue i mean is that really even going to make a difference in the in the that, they, their number with the parking and that they're they're thinking that they're going to take from us six hundred and fifty thousand mm-hmm. is what they said and i said to the mayor and, and to the council so you already have this magical number six hundred fifty thousand. i says and what is it going to be applied to i says at the end of this, if there's any money left over, are you going to give it, give it back to us? And they said, no, it's already spent. <laughs> so you're spending our money before we even give it to you. That, I mean, yeah. how is that even justified? I mean, yeah. nothing. I know. So, I mean, are like the 60 to 80 restaurants are like, they're coming together. Are you guys like all fighting this to get together or what's like the consensus or like, what are I some mean, of the next steps? So, the, so we already, we already, um, paid an attorney we retained an attorney we are going to try to get an injunction to stop her from uh basically demanding us to pay to be on the street so Mm -hmm. hopefully if we get the injunction then we'll just come on the street we'll fight it in court and then if we win we don't pay if she wins we end up paying whatever that's going to turn out i mean but if we fight as one if it's if it's unity if we fight as one there's no way they win. Mm-hmm. If you have a handful plus of other people who just kind of go off on their own and say, you know what, I'm paying it. I don't want the aggravation. I don't want the stress, blah, 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 blah. And they open. That's going to hurt us because yeah. then they can say, well, it was your option to say, yes, you want to open or no, you don't want to open. So those 10 people chose to open the rest of you said no there's you're not unified yeah so that could screw us if we stay unified then we, we we're all we we got the power mm-hmm. and, and and not them and that's the most important piece and again this isn't really a money situation for anybody this is more of a principle situation don't come at us and, and isolate us and say you hey i'm prejudiced against italians uh and I want you to pay us money. You're, I'm, I'm going to extort money from you people. Well, here, here's Don't another... do it in your own town. It, this is, it's funny because I always say like the best business book I've ever um, read in my life was a children's book. If you give a mouse a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, if you like, okay, let her like this one time you cave in. It's like next year, it's going to be something else. Or it's, Worse. Going, it's going to be more and more. And it's just a down spiral from there. So I definitely applaud you guys taking the stand because you, you have to, you have to, as yeah. business owners, you have to, as a community or else you could see the community um, dwindle away. You see it in a lot of places around the country. Like you cave in once and then who knows what the next thing it's like the same thing with the, the Columbus statue too. I mean, that could also be what, I mean, is that a reason this is triggering now? Because I, I remember you guys having a lot of issues with her. I think she, didn't she come through the North end for the, St. Anthony's prayed and she was not very well, well. no so, so she came in after that but she but um so Columbus we were told by the previous mayor Walsh um that they were going to replace the statue mm-hmm. that hasn't happened yet um and we made a big fuss about it he said it was being fixed they were going to replace it blah 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 that hasn't been done yet 
So that's coming to the surface again now because you, you, you're still picking on us, so, so to speak. You, 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 you say you're going to do one thing, you do the, you don't, you ignore us, blah, blah, blah. When we support all these politicians, we, we, we give them money. Mm-hmm. We pay meals tax. We pay, I mean, taxes out the ass. Not only do we do that, but we got the cleanest streets and we got the best food and we're the ones being attacked. It's, it's mm-hmm. insane. I know it's insane because I mean, I've, honestly, since I came to the North End that first time, I've been back again for the St. Anthony's Parade, and it's like I can't wait to come back because it's honestly like one of my well, favorite places in the country. Well, you know something else too. So for the Santa Parade, we have a Santa Parade right in the North End. Mm-hmm. Santa Claus comes through um, a helicopter, <laughs> and they drop the the he's dropped at Christopher Columbus Park, right, mm-hmm. which is in the North End. And he comes off and, and Santa Claus goes with the kids, shakes hands, takes pictures. Then there's a parade of vehicles. I was in this parade this, this past winter. Yep. And you got all characters, Disney characters, Aladdin, this, that, the other things, free. I don't even know, know, know what these kids like, but all these characters are on the cars, beeping lights, holiday music. She made sure she was the first one with her two kids to go see Santa Claus come off the house. I was standing right there with her. I was mm-hmm. standing right with her. She was the first one of kids to go see Santa Claus. She was in the first car going around the whole North End and, and kids were having a great time. And now that all happened and now it's fuck you. We treated well, you like a queen and yeah. now you want to spit in our face. I mean, it's a shame. It's like political views aside. It's like if the mayor wants to come and like, like come to the St. Anthony's feast and come pray. Like, obviously, everyone's welcome to the open arms in the community. It's just like, I don't, I don't understand. Why you when all. you were there, did you see any fights, any beefs, anything, or did you see everybody hugging and kissing? Yeah, everyone uh, hugging and kissing. No, like no matter what, it was. It's one of the best. It was definitely the best festival I went to last year. It was so much. I just had a blast doing it. It was so much fun. Yeah. 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 It's a shame. It's a shame. So what could like people do to like help you guys out? How could like everybody, anybody listening support you guys? Like what are some of the ways? Just it, 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 if they could, I mean, I get posting to get the attention of the mayor post, you know, post mayor Wu. Uh, it's mayor Michelle Wu city of Boston, tag them and, and just get the word out, you know, that you support you back the North end and don't, don't believe in her what she's doing to us um at some point we were talking about a possibly a, a gofundme page to help with the legal costs and stuff um that hasn't yeah, that, happened that's yet. another thing too it's like yeah you could win at the end of the day but then you got all these legal costs too it's like you guys are gonna be out regardless it sucks you're right but again it's 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 principle mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's uh it's 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 either you charge us all or you don't charge us at all and, and I made a statement not too long ago on social media to her saying, hey, you graduated Harvard. So if you're a business-minded person and you're this smart graduating from Harvard, don't you think if you took every restaurant in the city of Boston and charged them $200 across the board, how much more revenue you would get than just whacking the North End for $7,500? Does it make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And, and nobody got a beef. Nobody got a beef. Happy to pay the 200. Everyone's, all the tourists and everybody who wants to eat outside are going to be happy because now you have the ability to eat outside. Mm-hmm. And the city is making a shit ton of money from doing nothing. But no, you, 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 you made the wrong decision. So I t- kind of told her, I said, look, you might be a person of power. Retract, come back, make an apology, and then redo your permitting situation and get everybody in Boston to hit you and pay you the 200. Yeah. Well, I mean, I see, even in New York, I mean, I'm in New York city now, so it's like, there's outdoor dining everywhere. There's like no issues with it. Like there's traffic's flowing fine. There's no issues, whether it's Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, little like anywhere. It's like, you just see, it's just the norm now because we don't know yeah. what's going to happen a month. You could get hit with another regulation. There could be a new mandate or whatever. So it's like, and traffic flows just fine. I mean, it's New York city. It's like, it's hard to find parking <laughs> before yeah. all this. Yep. 
Yep. So it's like, I'm sure it's the same with Boston. I'm sure before COVID and everything was still kind of hard to find parking if you didn't <laughs> go into a garage. So it's like the same thing. It's like people are, right. it's not that big of a deal. Right. I mean, and even if, if she backtracked and said, look, we'll waive the 7,500, but to keep the residents happy, keep the parking intact, pay us for the parking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pay you 1,500 a month? Okay, I'll deal with that. I'll, I'll, I'll to, to make them happy and, and, and have the outdoor dining, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But you're not hitting even a 7,500. Yeah, that's like for this, I mean... I, to play devil's advocate, I can see like if people live there, like some of the parking situations, but it's like you move into the city, you know you're gonna have this problem anyway. You're gonna have noise, you're gonna yep. have parking problems. You, you you're moving to the city. You know yeah. you're gonna you know what you're getting into. If you don't like it, go move in the fucking woods. <laughs> for sure, man, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time letting us know what's going on we're here we're backing you guys 100 percent. always i appreciate that always hopefully uh I'll, I'll take a trip to the north end within the next couple months definitely want to come back for sounds sure. good yeah but where can well, everybody hopefully you're sitting outside i know right <laughs> <laughs> we're doing shots at the spoon outside that's it <laughs> yeah but where can everybody follow you i mean obviously um rabius on instagram and yeah rabius dolce fumo on instagram cc fit 22 uh, on Instagram, and uh, wait, is there name, yeah, is there a petition going on right now? It's it's a, we've we've hit we've already hit it. There was a petition going around. We had to hit twenty five thousand. We've got like close to fifty. It's oh, it's, awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, awesome. Well, we'll put links to everything in the description. So I appreciate you uh taking the time today, bro. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely this summer. All right, pal. Awesome. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the sit down. Like we said before, make sure to like, subscribe, follow us on all social medias. And you could always use code sit down for a little bit of money off at your order at the wooden spoon store.com. Thank you guys again so much for listening. I really appreciate everyone's support. Everyone who listens to this podcast, I can't thank you enough. Um, um, we'll catch you in the next episode. Ciao, ciao. Oh, 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 oh,